Good afternoon, everyone. Thanks for joining us today. We'll be uh, joined shortly by Terry Head from Equitrust. This is Matt Tour with Insurance Agency Marketing out in Omaha, Nebraska. I want to do thank you for joining us today. We'll be discussing some of the uh, highlights of the Equitrust product line. We'll also be going over some ideas on stretch IRA and Roth IRA products available through Equitrust. They have a Great lineup of both fixed and indexed annuities. We've seen a really nice increase in interest rates this year with Equitrust. We've also seen a nice increase in business recently going to Equitrust. So I've been seeing a lot of uh, very aggressive plays with Equitrust. We're very happy to see these, these increased interest rates this year. Definitely been a uh, nice factor in our business increase based on what we saw this year versus last. I wanted to thank Terry for joining us here. I'll get him on in here in a few minutes, but uh, first of all, I'll go over some of the highlights of uh, offerings from insurance agency marketing. We continue to have our new producer perks. You got uh, different levels of production. You can qualify between $100,000 and a million. We have anywhere between iPads, cash bonuses, uh, retirement boss radio show, different uh, seminar systems, a lot of good uh, choices you can utilize to expand your business based on your production in the first six months of being licensed through one of our, our carriers. We also offer our referral program, you refer agents to IMES, you'll automatically get a nice 20 basis point override on their indexed annuity business. And then we also have our market reimbursement program where you can earn money back based on your advertising expenses and production. We put uh, $100, actually, yeah, $100 to every $100,000 of annuity premium into your marketing allowance account. We also put in $200 for every $100,000 of single premium life. So great way for us to help you out with your advertising costs. I know we've seen a lot of the costs go up this year based on inflation. So it's not as economical as it was last year to do advertising. So we're glad that we could help you out with those those costs. I've seen a lot of uh, people utilizing our back office support team here through IMES. We've got a great new business team. We've got a great marketing staff. We can run up quotes for you. We can help you out with specific casework. Get a lot of stuff done for you on your uh, daily needs. And then we can be in the field more and do more of your back office support to help you stay in the field. And we also have a great creative team that can help you out with advertising. They do a great job on doing different types of social media advertising, advertising on the internet, a lot of good stuff you can utilize through. Through the creative team, we uh, do offer Firelight. It's a new business system. We see a lot more agents utilizing and submitting their applications. It really helps speed up the process. I know with the uh, volume of business we're sending certain companies this year, we've seen their time frames really expand out on getting business processed. And way, one way to definitely speed up the process is to submit your apps via an e-app, and that way will really help on getting things moved along really cuts back on the delays. But uh, as again, once again, our creative team can help you out. Maybe you want to redo your website. You want to redo your company logo, change your company colors. They can help you out with all of that. If you want to do an email campaign or do a postcard campaign, they can help you with some development on, the, on those ends and help you get the best piece possible to get the best results. Because when you're spending more money, you definitely want to increase your results. So something that they can help you out with. We also have a great website, www.imsinc.com. You can go there and look up interest rates, look up income payouts. You can do term comparisons on life insurance. You can look up our latest annuity rates on index and fixed annuities. We try to get those up to date as possible. We also have a subscription to annuity rate watch you can look up 
rates on a daily basis through that. So if you're in Ohio, I want to look at the best five-year MIGA. You plug in Ohio, look at five-year MIGAs, maybe you have an 88-year-old, plug in that age. It's going to give you the best products we have that fit that criteria. So really nice tool we have on our website. We also can look at uh, different strategies, which ones have returned the best the last decade, the last two decades, based on you know what the market's done, based on those strategies, and really a nice piece to look at also. If you have interest in the wealth management side of our business, we do offer help with Series 65. We also have a great staff on that side. If you have interest in speaking to one of our wealth management team, I'm gonna go ahead and launch a quick poll here. If you have interest in that, you can mark off yes. I'll be glad to get you a phone appointment with the wealth management side of the business. We got Duncan Smith does a great job on that end of it. We got Mike, we've got Charles, we got a great staff on the wealth management side, really seeing the nice increase in that business. We've seen a big increase in the number of our top 20 agents working both securities and insurance. It really helps with their overall coverage for their clients because you hate to refer someone down the street to a, to a broker and then ends up you lose your client to the broker. You don't want that happening. You want to be able to handle as many things as you can through your office. That way you're not losing clients through referrals. But again, if you would like to get more information on the brokerage side of IMS, I'd be glad to have one of our specialists to give you a call on that side. And I know that uh, we still see, you know, a vast majority of business coming through on the insurance side. But if you do want to expand your business into the security side, this would be a great way to do that. I'm going to leave this poll open for about another 15 seconds. Any questions on the wealth management side? I'm sure that one of our experts will be giving you a call based on your interest and kind of go over the platforms we offer. You know, some of the fees are, are much lower based on what we have versus other RIAs and a great way to uh, get going on that side. So I'm going to get this closed up. Get moving on here. We also do academies. We do uh, about one academy a quarter and we got one coming up in the middle of September. It's a great way to pick up some great sales ideas, pick up the latest trends kind of see what's out there in the annuity space, in the life insurance space. If you have interest in coming out to one of our meetings down the road, I just launched another poll. You can mark off yes on that poll. We'll keep you in, you know, up to speed when the next meetings are going to be. We're looking at you know one here in Omaha. It's going to be happening in the middle of September. We're also looking at one in Des Moines the first week of November. So if maybe the middle of September does not work for you, but the beginning of November does, I'm glad to get you set up for that meeting. Again, that will be in Des Moines. And we've got uh, some really good speakers that come to these. We do some round table events where you can ask some of our table of high producers, you know, what they utilize in the field to get in front of more clients, what they use to close more sales. They'll have all kinds of good information for them. And we also have a uh, little review on our, our sales tools on software and also go over some high-end life insurance information, along with the latest trends in the annuity side, when, you know, what's been hot. We've seen a lot more fixed rates being sold this year with the higher interest rates. Stark market vol volatility has really caused clients to mix up their choices on the index strategies. We're seeing much more being put into fixed rates right now than we used to. Since the market's been on about a 12-year race, on returns. This is really the biggest uh, down year we've seen since 08. So definitely something to look at. Once again, uh, if you do have interest in coming out to one of our academies, you want to mark off yes on the poll I've got out there. I'll leave this open for another 20 seconds. And then uh, I'll be giving you a call regarding the, uh, the academy side. And then we'll keep up to speed when those uh, Next academies will be coming up in the next few months. Then once the one in November has been done, we probably won't do another one until April of next year based on weather concerns. We uh, have had trouble in the past bringing people out in February and March based on winter weather. So we'll see how that plays out. Go and get that closed up. We offer a couple different trips. We've got one to Park City, Utah. 
That's coming up the uh, next September in 2023. Qualifications one year based on annuity production through IMES. And then we also uh, have our other trip, which we'll be announcing shortly. It's an 18 month qualification. This year's trip's going to the Greenbrier up in West Virginia. We have not announced the next trip qualification run. That one is going to run July 1st, 2022 through December 31st of 2023. So the trip itself won't be until March of 2024. So you can uh, go ahead and look at, forward to that down the road and see what's going on that end. We also have some presence on the social media sites, uh, Facebook and LinkedIn. I know we do some special advertising on those Two networks and good way to keep up with what I'm has IMS has going on on that side. But once again, I do appreciate you being on today. We got uh, some great information we'll be discussing on Equitrust coming up the next few minutes, and we're glad to have uh, Terry on today. Terry Head, we're glad to have you on board here, Terry. I'm gonna go ahead and and change presenters here over to you, so people okay. will be seeing your great. your screen there, and then. Uh, okay. We'll be moving forward with Terry here today. I know Terry's got some great experience on the annuity sides of the market, and he's got some great stuff to we'll be covering on Equitrust today. Do you have your uh, screen up yet, Terry? Yeah. Let me go ahead and hit show my screen here, my friend. All right. Okay. Then I want to make sure it's, sh I'm not sure which one it's showing here. Let's see. <laughs> So you're watching the uh, Cubs versus the St. Louis Cardinals. Is that the screen we're supposed to be seeing? <laughs> nope. <laughs> I'm not a big baseball fan. I, if it, not not, not if a big baseball guy, season, but that would that, be good. You know, maybe we'll have some preseason games on soon for football. <laughs> but I, I do have your screen up. I've got you uh, up Let's here for see. Equitrust Competitive Advantages. Okay. Now, is it uh, just doing the slideshow here? Is that? Oh, that's up now. Is? The slideshow's. Oh, is perfect. Okay. Now, yeah. Okay. Should, be, should be good to go moving forward. Excellent. Thank you so much here, Matt, here. And thank you all you for it. taking time to uh, join us all here today. I do appreciate the opportunity to share some information about Equitrust here and all of our offerings here. So I'm not going to take a lot of time uh, here today, but I do want to give you a quick overview. Um, you'll see the uh, slide here first is presented by Jason Goodrich, but I'm not Jason. <laughs> Uh, again, as Matt said, I'm I'm Terry, and I'm from the sales desk. Jason is your um, RVP, uh, but I'm uh, presenting today on his behalf. So we'll kind of get started here. So uh, a few things um, I want to touch on here today. Uh, we'll go over uh, the basics on several of our products, and I'm going to talk a little bit about Roth conversions and a little bit about our inherited IRA options that we have here at Equitrust. So moving forward here, okay. Um, as you all know, there's many clients out there nowadays that are looking to do partial or full conversions from traditional IRAs to Roth IRAs, especially as they're heading towards retirement and they want to lessen their tax burden. And of course, we all know that Uncle Sam definitely wants their chunk of change when uh, clients move out of a traditional IRA to a Roth IRA. Our flexible premium bonus product, Market 10 bonus, is the perfect vehicle for lessening the tax burden on uh, these clients who are doing Roth conversions. So we've got a conversion opportunity that will involve only uh, the client having one contract. Uh, for the first five years, uh, the contract is enforced. Clients receive a full premium bonus of 6%. Um, and that, of course, would be added after you know the conversion amount comes over. So, say it's a client's, um, you know, initially working uh, with a hundred thousand dollar traditional IRA. Let's just say their uh, tax bracket is twenty percent, so they're owing between federal and state, maybe they're owing twenty grand in taxes, so they've got eighty grand to move over. Uh, with that 6% uh, premium bonus that they would receive, they're going to recapture some of the that they paid in taxes right away. And uh, as I said, uh, with our bonuses, they, they vest uh, immediately. So there's no vesting schedule or anything like that. Uh, all of the premiums that they 
add to market 10 bonus in the first five years do get that full 6% uh, premium bonus. And you as agents uh, will uh, receive commission on all uh, premiums received in the first five years also. It's a win-win here. Okay, so let's give it a look. Do you allow a, like a client to put in, let's say they put 100,000 in, can they convert like $20,000 a year into that contract? Is it something they can do? Yes, internally? that's the perfect way. Well, actually, it wouldn't really be an internal thing because um, that would kind of uh, Matt, not really uh, be the best way to lessen you know the tax burden so much in that um, it would be better as like if they want to like say they got a hundred grand somewhere okay mm -hmm. and they want to convert half the money over to a Roth IRA let's say keep 50 grand in that traditional IRA contract okay the right. ideal way to do it would be uh, see with us uh, it will go as low as ten thousand uh, dollars and on market 10 bonus and actually for IRA money will go as low as 5,000. That's usually utilized for startup IRAs, not so much rollovers, um, but that could be done. Let's say, you know, they want they want to take get 50 grand of this converted over to a Roth IRA. Uh, the smart way to play it on this would be to, uh, from their uh, traditional IRA, move over 10,000 initially to get the market 10 bonus uh, contract started. And then they, um, you know, could move some money every year, convert mm -hmm. gradually yeah. out of there. So they're going to get that 6% uh, fully vested premium bonus right away. So that helps uh, you know, with uh, some of the taxes that they've gotten there and then uh, you know, any growth that they receive from crediting strategies uh, and interest is going to be based off that fully vested um, you know, premium bonus and their premium. So Sure. Say that you know they put 50 grand in initially. It's a six percent bonus. They're going to have 53 grand in that account. Mm -hmm. That their uh, growth uh, uh, crediting is going to be based off of there. And uh, the beauty of this is this helps them where they're only going to have then and like if they wanted to keep 50 grand at the other carry and convert 50 to a Roth here, um, you know, that works out fine. Or say they wanted to move it all over eventually, they could do it. Um, you know, like say maybe put in uh, 50 grand initially, move over and then convert 10,000 10, on an annual basis from the other carrier there. You know, getting that, right. you know, they'd have taxation, but they'd all, they get full bonus there that will help with that. And then eventually they would just end up with one contract there. The other contract would be liquidated there. So you wouldn't have multiple contracts to manage. But we don't, uh, see uh, with ours, um, to, to clarify here, like say, someone wants to uh, do something internally here at Equitrust, we do have an internal exchange program, but that is for contracts that are fully out of surrender. So once a contract was fully out of surrender, you know, a partial um, or full conversion could be done that way there too, but yeah. Sure. So, okay. And then, you know, basically, you know, the client's got the coal, convert from traditional IRA to a Roth, but they don't want to have the entire lump sum taxable in the same year. So our solution is the market 10 bonus, doing partial conversions over a five-year period, well, they'll still get that 6% uh, premium bonus, help lessen the tax burden. And so eventually, you know, they would end up with one Roth IRA contract with a small taxable amount every year that they're doing the conversion. There, so. And then a little bit about our market 10 bonus here. Okay, so it's a flexible premium design. Um, the 6% premium bonus is for the first five years. However, to clarify, clients can add beyond the five, first five years too. So they can continue to add for as long as they wish uh, with premium there. 10 year surrender charge period. Uh, a great thing about this product is the return of premium rider. That is, it's a built-in feature with market 10 bonus, there's no fee it. And the ROP rider is in effect immediately. What this means is the clients can surrender at any time and get their premium back, less any withdrawals that they may have made. And they'll always get the better of either, you know, their surrender charge value or their premium back, less any withdrawals that they've made. So 
that's a, an excellent feature, especially for clients who have any uh, liquidity concerns. We do issue up to age 80. Uh, they do have to be age 40 to uh, elect the optional income rider. And a street level commission is 6%. For additional premiums in years two through five, street level commission is 3%. And a little bit about the optional income rider. Uh, it's a 6% uh, benefit-based bonus. We do have a special running right now uh, on the market 10 bonus and the market power bonus where uh, for apps received through August 31st, we are increasing the benefit-based bonus to 9%, where it's normally a 5% uh, roll up there for up to 10 years or when they start taking income. It's a 1% fee and we base our IBR fees off accumulation value, not the faster growing benefit base. Uh, the income withdrawal percentages at age 65, uh, single is three and a half percent and joint is 3% and it increases uh, 50 basis points in five year increments. Uh, definitely a great product for you know, clients, you know, they're uh, seeking some peace of mind, they have that return to premium. Uh, along with full uh, downside protection. It's a way to consolidate financial resources over several years. And you know, there's accumulation from a combination of a guaranteed bonus and index credits. And a little on our uh, current rates here. Um, just one caveat with this slide here. Um, previously, we did have slightly different rates if the income rider was elected. Uh, versus a non-income rider case. That is no longer though with us. Our rates are all the same, whether they elect an income rider or not. So looking at some excellent rates here now, that 3.20 uh, fixed interest, you know, that's something you haven't seen in a long time, as Matt was saying, with how uh, the interest rates have been for so many uh, years now here. Uh, excellent point-to-point -point cap there on the S&P at 6%. Uh, some outstanding participation rates on our volatility control indices here, Barclay Focus 50. Uh, we have both a one-year and a two-year option there. And then our S&P Mark 5 at 140% there for participation on one-year point-to-point basis. I know we, we see a lot of money going into the market 10 on the IRA contribution. So mm -hmm. if somebody wants to put in, uh, say, six or $7,000 this year, they can put this, you know, depending on their income, what they can put in the next number of years. They, they get that nice bonus of 6% each year they put in, mind, you know, the next five years, you know, through the fifth year. And then they get uh, really good caps right now. If you look at a 6% cap with right. a 6% bonus, I mean, the first year they can make 12% if right. the market was up 6% or more. So it's mm -hmm. a, a nice combination. And with that yeah. return of premium, we, we run into clients that, don't want to have a situation where they're tied into a contract for a long time and this gives them an out so if they they want to have an out they've got one with the market 10 so nice exactly. combination it's perfect yeah for all those reasons and then a little bit about our market power bonus uh, now this is our single premium um, bonus product here uh, it's been around for a very long time it is our uh, longest in surrender charge uh, period 14 years. There are some states where it is a, a 10, 10 year solution, uh, but in most states it's 14 years. It's a 10% um, premium bonus. Um, as I said, no vesting schedule. So, say a client puts a, in 100 grand, their account value automatically grows to 110,000. Uh, we show up to age 75. And again, same for the income writer uh, as on our other FIAs, uh, have to be at least age 40 to elect this. Um, they can only put premium in in the first year at a very strong uh, street level commission uh, with 8%. In uh, states where it is a 10-year uh, surrender charge period, uh, it's a 7% street level commission. Uh, with the optional income uh, rider, uh, it's a very nice 10% initial benefit based bonus, just the same as, as what goes to the account value side. And uh, as I said previously, um, both Market 10 and this Market Power bonus product, we are uh, temporarily increasing the uh, roll-up rate to the income benefit base to 9%. That's for all apps received through August 31st. Uh, there is a possibility that uh, special may be extended, but uh, nothing solid on that at this point. Uh, the annual fee is 1.25%, uh, again, based on accumulation value. 
uh, the withdrawal percentage is at 865 at the same as on uh, market 10 and uh, increases uh, the same way 50 basis points in five-year increments. So um, like say you did have uh, some clients who maybe they've lost some money in the markets or on a variable annuity, you know, they can recoup uh, quite a bit of that uh, investment loss with uh, the 10% bonus and you know, accumulates over a, a long uh, longer time period. And this can be used for a, a stretch IRA uh, solution. I'll touch a little bit about stretch and inherited IRAs towards the end, uh, but this product uh, uh, can be utilized for stretch IRAs, but not for inherited. And I'll touch on that a little bit later too. Do you so see are, many uh, applications coming in these days with the income rider? Are you seeing more towards just pure accumulation? That's kind of what we're seeing is more on the accumulation side as opposed to income. Yeah, we are primarily seeing uh, more um, with the accumulation focus. You're right, right Matt. Um, you know, we have had some increase with the special we've been running recently. Sure. For market power and uh, market 10 on IBR election there, but I would still say um, for all the FIAs, it is more of an accumulation focus at this point in time. So yeah, I was saying looking, you know, rates are pretty similar uh, to the uh, market 10 bonus. Got some strong uh, participation rates on the Focus 50 and the Mark 5. Got a real decent cap at 6% there with the S&P 500 and some uh, good caps and pars for uh, the monthly average and monthly cap options. Okay, then I'm going to get a uh, touch on our buy-up fixed indexed annuities a little bit here. Uh, we in introduced um, market max and market force bonus FIAs in December of last year. Uh, these are what are called buy-up uh, FIAs, where clients do have an option uh, to, uh, well, they have both non-fee and fee allocation options. If they're willing to pay uh, a nominal fee, they can get a much higher cap or participation rate. And they can uh, mix their allocations between both non-fee and fee options. These are straight accumulation plays here. Uh, there's no income rider available or anything like that. Uh, on our market max, this is a non-bonus product. Uh, it's similar in structure to our long-standing market value 10-year FIA. And this is a 10-year design, flexible premiums. Uh, we show up to age 80, commission level of uh, 7%. And uh, if they do choose a buy-up option, then it's 1%. That fee is guaranteed not to uh, increase at any time there. So, And so there are four rate buy-up uh, accounts available. Okay, just showing you uh, some comparisons here. Uh, there's three no-fee options. Uh, one-year fixed account, an S&P 500 one-year point-to-point cap, it's presently at 7.5%, and then the Mark V one-year point-to-point participation uh, rate presently at 170%. Now, if clients pay the 1% fee, uh, it, the cap and par rates go up substantially here. Uh, as you see here, there is a... Uh, 12% uh, cap offered on the S&P for just paying that 1% fee. So that definitely uh, will make us for some very nice uh, illustrations and uh, great potential growth there. Uh, we don't do a two, any two-year options uh, with these buy-up FIAs. Like we have that market focus 50, a one-year point-to-point participation. There's only a fee option for that index and it's very strong uh, participation rate of 180%. And with that mark five, you do a one-year point-to-point participation, pay the 1% fee, and you're looking at a, a rate of 210%. So definitely strong uh, accumulation potential there. You've got clients who are not adverse to fees. Uh, it's an excellent option to look at here. And then going on to our bonus uh, buy-up FI, it's the market force bonus index annuity. And this is a single premium product where the market max is flex premium. It's a 10-year design also, 
It's an 8% uh, immediately uh, vested premium bonus. Uh, we do issue up to uh, age 80, and uh, it's a 7% commission, so the same as what we're offering on market max. And there's both uh, non-fee and uh, fee options available. They do choose the buy-up uh, account options. It's 1.5%. Uh, one thing also to note on our buy-up FIAs that is unique compared to some other carriers is uh, we do allow clients to go back and forth between fee and non-fee options. There are some products out there where once a client is in a fee strategy, they're not allowed to move back to a non-fee strategy. So we're definitely flexible here, these buy-up FIAs. I wanted to touch quite a bit on our choice for. This is our uh, traditional fixed annuity. It's an annual reset fixed annuity. And we, uh, the reason why it's called Choice 4, there's four contract variations available. And it will go as low as 10 grand for opening an account. We will issue up to age 85. Uh, it's 1% minimum interest, meaning the rate would never renew at less than 1%, full accumulation value death benefit. And I'm gonna give you like the different versions available. So we have two nine-year versions available. We have the base option where there's no premium bonus involved. Presently, the first year rate is 4.5%. And it, as with all these options, it will be a minimum guaranteed renewal rate of 1%. Uh, the penalty free withdrawals are just interest only. And there would be no MBA adjustment. If the client agrees to take the MBA uh, with a nine-year option, they get receive a 1.5% premium bonus. So essentially that first year they're getting 6%. And all else is essentially equal. You know, they'll have the MBA there. And then we have a couple of six-year options. We have our uh, liquidity option for six years. Uh, with this, they can take a 10% penalty free withdrawal starting the second contract year. Right now, the base rate is 4% for the first year. Uh, if you take just the base uh, liquidity option, uh, there's no premium bonus. The client agrees to the MBA. They receive that same 1.5% premium bonus as they would with a nine-year option. And then they've got the 10% uh, penalty-free withdrawals available there. So we've got some very uh, nice options for clients to choose from on choice four. And I really want to uh, highlight here our very strong renewal rate history here. Uh, this is going back to 2014, uh, looking at all the six year uh, choice four contracts that we've got out there. Um, nearly 90% have renewed at equal to the initial rate. 8.7% have actually renewed above the initial rate. That's in you know, quite a few years with uh, very low interest rate environments and only 1.8% renewed below the initial rate. So you can definitely you know, share with your clients that there's very uh, strong renewal rate history with choice four if they have concerns on renewal rates. Okay, then a little bit about inherited and stretch IRAs. So yes, we are one of the few carriers out there that is uh, presently accepting you know, stretch and inherited IRA business. And just a little bit about uh, some of the qualifications for inherited and stretch IRAs. Essentially, since the SECURE Act uh, came in effect on January 1st of 2020, um, you have basically eligible uh, designated beneficiaries and then ineligible designated beneficiaries. So um, for clients uh, who um, you know, have inherited a contract um, or IRA that where the uh, decedent passed prior to 1-1 of 2020, they'll still be under the old rules or they will stretch uh, the RMDs over their lifetime. Let's say it's a situation, you know, the decedent passed 1-1 of 20 or later, and uh, there are still eligible beneficiaries who can do a stretch over their lifetime. Now that would be the spouse of the deceased owner, a disabled person, chronically ill person, or someone who is not more than 10 young, years younger than the deceased owner or um, older than two, that would also count. So uh, that would happen a uh, fair amount of the time with say sibling situations. 
that's what we've seen quite a bit on that type of thing. But, you know, a lot of cases with inherited uh, IRAs are uh, oftentimes parent-child. And so obviously, you know, there's going to be more than a 10-year difference there. So they fall into the ineligible designated uh, beneficiary. And so talking about what products are available. Now, if we're looking at someone who still qualifies for the stretch IRA, okay, any of our deferred annuity products uh, can be sold. You know, that includes uh, the market power bonus, even though it's a, you know, a 14-year, it's a long surrender charge period, but we can definitely uh, do the market power bonus along with the uh, other FIAs that we have available there. And we are allowing income riders on um, stretch IRAs and inherited IRAs on our FIAs uh, where they're available. And we are one of the very few carriers uh, who is allowing income riders for stretch and inherited business there. And so basically, like if it's a stretch IRA, it's stretched over the beneficiary's lifetime and RMDs are required. And you basically use the pre-secure act rules and tables for that. And as I said previously, you know, if they don't meet the requirements for an eligible beneficiary, they're treated as an ineligible beneficiary, and then it'll be titled as an inherited IRA. And then for inherited IRAs, the only products we're not making available are the market power bonus and confidence income SPIA. Now, the SPIA wouldn't uh, be available for a stretch IRA uh, either. And we are allowing the income riders, as I stated. And so essentially um, what the IRS has uh, stated is that by 1231 of the 10th year after the original IRA owner's death, the value of the contract has to be distributed or taxed. Um, you know, clients do have the option to pay all the taxes that are due and convert to non-qualified at that required time and still keep growing the contract. They would just receive a 1099 for the value. That's essentially uh, basically what I had. Um, I, we definitely thank you all you know, for your business here and also uh, invite you to call us uh, on the sales desk at any time at 866-598-3694. We're always available. Our agent portal is an excellent resource uh, for information also, agents.equitrust.com. I don't know if anyone had any questions that I could answer at this time. So a couple of things, I just launched a quick poll for those that have interest in getting information on Equitrust. I'll go ahead and get that sent out to you next couple oh, of days via email or mail. So if you have interest in getting more information on some of the, the programs Equitrust has, maybe you're already licensed, want some forms, you know, emailed to you or mailed, we get that done also. So if you do have interest in getting some information on what Equitrust has to offer, I know that uh, we got some great products out there and a couple plans that, that were not talked about today are the market value and the market seven. Yes. Two really good accumulation products. I know that the market value has been Equitrust number one several last couple of years. Yeah. It has out distance the market power. So yeah, it has. So and um I didn't mean to short those products at all here. I was just kind of wanted to try and touch on everything. But yeah, market value. Excellent, you know, 10 year FIA, very strong cap rates. Presently, the SP one year point to point cap is 8%. So you're definitely, you know, looking at um, strong accumulation and, and high uh, participation rate it's, uh, for the uh, Barclays and the SP Mark V. So, yeah, definitely yeah. strong part. Market seven is great for your older clients because uh, we will issue up to age 85. That's the one FIA that we do go beyond age 80 for issue there. Mm -hmm. Right. It's a and you can think about those plans also, they got great fixed accounts. So yes. the market seven pays 4.15 fixed, the market market values at four. I mean, you got uh, caps at eight on both. On the uh, S&P, so you could split the client's money up between the fixed account and the index, do a 50-50 right. split, get half on the fixed, half on the index. The index does well, I mean, it makes a full eight. Your client's gonna make about 6% across the board on, on you combine the two up. That's a pretty nice number when you're looking at, uh, you know, kind of where things are and where they've been. Right. Client can make, you know, more than five percent on their money, and lock that in. That's a, that's a nice combination right now. Oh, definitely. Yeah, we're seeing a lot of the business come in the way that you just stated there, Matt, with a fifty percent allocation towards the one-year 
fixed and 50% towards the S&P mm -hmm. on your point-to-point -point cap. So uh, we're seeing that Definitely. a lot out there. So, yeah. Good. And then the, uh, the good thing about the choice for annuity that we, we touched on and that, uh, you know, Terry was talking about is, what, 90% of the money that comes on this is on that six-year liquidity and MBA option. So it's got, you know, the 10% free withdrawals. It's got a, a five-and-a-half first-year rate. That plan also pays a five-and-a-half commission on a six-year contract to age 80. So yeah, good combination, five-and-a-half interest, five-and-a-half commission. Six year surrender charge, and that thing's been renewing at the you know mainly at the base rate. So, if your base is up four, your client's probably going to make four percent for the next number of years. So, nice combo. I mean, way higher comp than you're going to get on the MYG right now. Yeah, that's very true. So, yeah, definitely. So, keep that in mind. I'm gonna go ahead and close this poll up here pretty quick. So you want to vote on the, on your interest in getting information, you know, on Equitrust, what they have to offer. I'm going to follow up with everyone that did participate today in today's meeting. If you have any questions that you think of between now and the time I call you, you can ask me whatever you want. We're glad to get those answered. I know the uh, the market power bonus with Equitrust has been their number one seller for most of the time they've had it out, and it's got that 10% bump. A number of states, it's only a 10-year surrender charge, so you get about 10 states where it's only 10-year duration, and the rates, I believe, are the same. Yeah, they are. On the accumulation side, so you know, get 10% bonus, 6% cap on a 10-year surrender charge in a number of states. That's a great combo. Yeah, it really is. So. Anything you want to finish off with today, Terry? Uh, no, I think that's about all I have, but again, I want to thank you, Matt, for the opportunity uh, to present today here, and thank you, uh, folks, for uh, joining us here today and learning more, and uh, as I said, we're always here to help uh, on the sales desk with uh, anything that you need, so appreciate your business. Sounds good, Terry. Appreciate everyone's time this afternoon. I try to keep this uh, under 45 minutes, if possible, so we got done right about in time. As I mentioned, if you have any questions, uh, you can give us our, our, our office a our call, a toll-free number, ask for a new marketer. My name is Matt. I've been here for over 20 years, so a lot of good experience on the uh, annuity side of the market. It's been a lot of change over the last 20 years, and now we're starting to get back to better interest rates, you know, higher fixed rates. Definitely a nice combo, and hopefully we'll see better rates through the end of the year. I know we're starting to see some companies lowering rates right now, but hopefully we can uh, continue to see some some stellar opportunities for clients out there. Otherwise, everyone have a great week and enjoy the uh, the end of the summer here. Yes. Thank you, Matt. Everybody have a good afternoon. You too. Bye now. Bye.